Aloha. My name is Tia and I attend Kukuha and Intermediate School. I'm actually a senior and I've been working with my school's Green Club initiatives to be able to combine garden towers with our aquaponic systems. We're trying to make initiatives to make food production more efficient, cost effective and productive. We recently learned about our new garden tower system that allows 50 plants that can grow in four square foot of space. Garden towers are great since the plants grow above ground, which minimizes the need for bending and outer, the outer plastic helps prevent weeds from growing and the produce can be easily picked from sides by children or senior citizens. The garden tower can be moved from the location to another, from one location to another. You could also put food scraps. So like from your kitchen, you could put your, your kitchen scraps into the middle and that would help to kind of give nutrients to your plants. So we're also taking another initiative to combine the garden tower with our aquaponic systems. And that's how we'll be able to use the fish waste. And we're taking the Arduino computer sensors to monitor the pH levels, temperature, light levels, water levels, and some dissolved oxygen. Using the computer Arduinos will help maintain the garden tower by providing a 24-7 feedback and optimal growing conditions. We'll be putting into the slots um, two-week-old seedlings of kale, ung choy, wheatgrass, watercress, and several other types of plants. One garden tower can provide enough food to sustain one person. It would be pretty great if every family could have one of these because they'd save a lot of money and they wouldn't have to go to stores to buy so much of their fruits and vegetables. So something that I like about this project would be that it's simple enough for everyone to use. I feel that children would be able to kind of, I guess, play around with what they use, what they'll be able to plant. It doesn't have to be something that's strictly made for the ground. And they'll be able to keep it even if they have like small patios or small gardens. They'll be able to keep it more so because it saves space. And this is something that senior citizens can also use too because they won't have to be able to bend down and work in their garden every day. They'll actually be able to kind of reach over just probably slightly. They wouldn't have to do so much heavy yard work. And I know for sure that this will help because we have a lot of time on our hands and we use it more so for watching TV or going on the internet, but we could be using this, something that's simple and it still kind of gives you a little bit of exercise to be able to plant gardens, um, plant your fruits and vegetables in this garden tower. Um, mahalo and thank you for listening. And that's it. Thank you.